Welcome to Tibet in the Morning, your wonderful radio show that will uh, be going on until Nintendo's ready to go live. My Nintendo music is usually top notch. It's 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 just how things are. I am going to bring the music as far as I can bring it down before we get started. Uh, I'll go ahead and transition. We'll continue listening to music while we're waiting for Nintendo themselves to go live. But I've got it all set up and ready to go. So, here we are. Now, my thoughts, some thoughts, some hot takes and whatnot. I, I have an inkling that we might get something else from Mario Party. Maybe not now, but I think before Christmas, I think we'll get... Super Mario Party 2. Maybe. I'm kind of hoping. No, no Mario Party DLC. They're not going to do Mario Party DLC. They're going to do Mario Super Mario Party 2. It's too late for DLC. I still desperately want to see... But you know what? If I see Luigi's Mansion, I'll be happy. If I see Animal Crossing, I'll be happy. If I see both, I think we're good. Anything on top of that is icing on the cake. Yeah, I think this might be their one shot. It'll, it'll, it, if they do something with Microsoft that's not Banjo and Kazooie, like Minecraft Steve, it's gonna feel like a. It won't feel like it's real to me. Like it'll feel fake. It'll feel like a like a dream almost. Not like a good dream. It's kind of like one of those dreams where it's just like really weird and fucked up. It's like what? Why did my brain think that up? And Microsoft had one of the better conferences, in my opinion. I mean, they, they were able to eat up a lot of the stuff that maybe Sony could have, but I think they had a really, like, solid conference. I doubt we'll get a fighter pass, too. I think the only hope that Banjo has if he's not in Smash is, like, if we get a port of Rare Replay over in it, over in the over on the Switch, then I think at that point, I don't know. Banjo has not seen love in a very long time, and I think he deserves something. Data mine slots for characters, along with the fact they say I'm gonna keep the switch alive. Yeah, that's true. Hmm, you might be right then. I I I I will give you Fighter Pass two, but I don't think I could say Mario Party DLC. If they're gonna do anything with Mario Party, they're just gonna release another one. You grab food? Yeah, I grabbed food a little before I started here, so I'm good. I'm only dying a little bit. <laughs> and thinking about Luigi's Mansion, I really hope they go back for more of the original style from the first one. I definitely thoroughly enjoyed the first one, and I didn't really like how, it, how the uh, the second one picked up the look. I was just like, eh, it's just not, not great. I'm, I'm pretty sure they could do anything, anything with Animal Crossing and I'd be happy. I don't think, unless we get like Amiibo Party 2. 
I don't think I can be mad about that. How audible is that fan? Honestly, I, I keep seeing it show up on my um, my mic, and I feel like it's loud. Hold on a second. Hmm. I was gonna try and push it with a stick, but hold on a sec. I'm not going far, but far enough. That might solve all our problems, hopefully. Oh, it certainly looks quieter. Still aimed at me, so that's good. I do not understand why Nintendo has decided to do this this early, though. I suppose it's probably a better time for... Hmm. Maybe it's a better time for more parts of the world? Where could I put this? Can I put this down here? No. I'll put it up here. Maybe I could put it in the center. Yeah, let's put it right there. That way you know what I'm playing, even if it was if, if it wasn't obvious. Uh, uh, uh. That's not centered, is it? Fuck it, I'm not gonna center it. Just put it down here. No. I don't know what to do with it. I guess we could just do top left hand corner. I just realized my fan is now blowing my green screen all over the place. Oh well. Quickly approaching the 15 minute mark. I'm trying to think of more exciting things. Let's see. I want to touch on some stuff. Ooh, breakfast sandwich. Sounds good to me. Oh, don't you dare autoplay, you fucking whatever you are. Oh, that's right, we have new, new Switch models, which I, said they, I think they said they weren't going to be showing. They weren't going to be showing any hardware, if I remember correctly. What else are we supposed to be seeing? I wonder if I can find an article for possible Smash editions. <laughs> Doom guy. I cannot see Doom guy being in this. I mean, I've been wrong before. Erdrick from Dragon Quest, po very possible. Ryu Hay Hayab 
Hayabusa? Hayabusa? From Ninja Gaiden? Wow, that's, I mean, that's a name I haven't heard yet. It'd be an interesting character. <laughs> Wrapping yourself in a blanket. I wish I could wrap myself in a blanket. I'd be, I would sweat my ass off, though. Steve from Minecraft with a Master Chief alternate costume. I think I heard that in a YouTube video. That's not a bad idea. Doom guy from Doom. Is that all their guesses? That's it? There's just the four? Nah. Dad was out and about wanted to know if I wanted any. What's what's an ice cap? I don't know what that is. Oh, you know what? Come to think of it, I should write this down. I need to grab, uh, sorry, I bumped my mic. I bumped uh, my mic when I was trying to say, uh, what was I? Fuck, I forgot. I'm trying to, like, backtrack now. Bump my mic. Oh, I need music for Canada Day. Because I have plenty of music for, like, Independence Day festivities, but I don't have anything for Canada. I did it, I did it again. It's just just in the way enough frozen drink dessert it's like a coffee dessert drink with chocolate oh okay yeah oh canada is like the only one oh. they were those little things at the end of my pen I mean, I'll, I'll, obviously I'll have that, but I just I don't know where else to go from there. I know I have, I think I have some good Nufi music. It's kind of piratey, but I think it comes from Newfoundland. How many songs? We don't have too, too many songs left. I think I'll take a quick pause and I want to see what I've got. I think I have it on my pirate playlist. I th think this one's Newfie. I think this is one of, the, one of the songs I have that's from Canada. What else do I have? Um... That's one. Then I have Barrett's Privateers. This one's better. Their live version is much, much better. Like, I got this one. You're charging your Switch? I am too. It's like somewhere over there. Also got this one by that first band. And I've got this one. I love this song. It's like, it's great. Anyway, back to my Mario music. You only got 10 minutes, so I'll just leave. I think I've got 10 more minutes of... Actually, you know what? We'll move over to SNES music. I've got a bunch of that, too. There we go. Uh, I'm a Newfoundlander, born and bred. No. I'm gonna write that down, though. Shaniganok. Shani did I say that right? Shaniganok? Shaniganook? Hmm. 
I think I need, I need to write that more legibly. I'll never remember how to spell that. Oh, this, okay, so Shenanigan and it's Gray Foggy Day by them. I gotcha. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll look some of these up if I'm still up today. Well, I've got a second one of those, so I might not go to sleep at all, ever. <laughs> Chief Helios Code 2 bit, yeah, I wish. Maybe someday. They are they they do do a lot of uh, sponsorships. So I mean, between them or like, I'm trying to think which one which one which one which one's the other one I see a lot of. I want to say Logitech or Razer. I feel like I see them quite frequently. I don't think I'd take up Razer uh, a Razer sponsorship though. I don't like their products as much as I used to. Oh, Dollar Shave Club, yeah. Me undies I used to see a lot. Uh, what's that? Um, the oh god, um, it's a uh, it's a VPN, Nord VPN, I think. I gotta move my fan again. So I'm gonna use my stick because it's really far away, longer than my headphone cable, so I can't. You're gonna hear my fan now, so whatever. Cooking one, yep. The uh, I can't I can't remember what that one is. I do remember like they'd send you like a box every month for like a meal or whatever. I'm not sure if it was Blue Apron. Mm -mm. Oh, that was weird. We got like oh, we got like five minutes left. I can see why. We got a little flicker there. Are they playing any music? No, they're not playing anything. Oops. Oh. I listen. I'm I'm taking over for them. I'll, I'll play their music for them. Square Enix was really good about that. They had a lot of Final Fantasy music. I was actually watching someone else react to it uh, when I was getting up this morning. Someone was talking about it who knows more about uh, Final Fantasy than I do. And they ended with like a Final Fantasy IX song. And the guy was like really excited. Like, oh, they're going to announce that too. And they didn't. I don't think I'm from Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I don't know if I have that. I know I have like a... Hold on. I have a Mario and Luigi like compilation soundtrack. Inside story, inside story. Partners in time. Dance with babies. One person's requiem. Conclusions overture. Crisis of the red and green. Attack the enemy. Hey, uh. Where is it? This one? Hmm. Yeah, that's all one I've got that looks like. I don't usually do links from YouTube, but I'll give her a quick shot. Oh, it's the boss battle theme. Gotcha.
I'm not usually a fan of like uh, GBA and DS music. Like it has like a certain tinniness that I just it assaults my ears. It fits some games, but I think some try a little bit too hard. I grew up with SNES music, so that's why my heart lies with music like this. Oh yeah, we're ready. It's playing, so as soon as it starts, I'll be... Actually, you know what? I'll give it some volume. As soon as it goes, we're ready to go. Actually, I think this song might end right when they start. I love Mario Paint, by the way. That's a game I grew up on, like... Way too much. I played that game like way too much. I like I I <sighs> You bet Dragon Quest character? Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna try and bet against that. You're probably right. Dragon Quest or Banjo? Minecraft Steve is like, okay, so real quick, Nintendo is the one who wanted these characters, right? This isn't live anymore. There it is, now it's up to live. Like, if Nintendo is the one who wanted them, Nintendo is the one who asked Sakurai to make this happen. They like, they got all the rights and everything, so... I feel like it's all up in the air. But. Gross. But. Also gross. I can see a lot of characters having really good movesets. I don't know. I don't want a Dragon Quest character because I don't want more swords. I just... All the sword characters, I'm just like, why would I play these sword characters? I already know how to play Marth. And I just keep playing, I just keep playing Marth or Roy. <laughs> That's why I liked, um... Simon like he was different, you know, he was like sort of like that Sort of era of character like oh, it's kind of like uh, old-timey almost like medieval kind of stuff, but No sword nothing, you know, he throws shit All right almost there uh, I guess I'm gonna continue playing music we got a um, Super Mario RPG Uh, only sword user okay with other sword users is like Corrin and Robin. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Like, Lucina is kind of... I mean, well, obviously it shouldn't go, so... Oh, here we go. Here it is. If I need to turn it up anymore, I will. Really hyped to see what we get. I might have to turn it up a bit more. Or maybe not. Whatever this is. Who knows? Please turn it up? Okay. Okay, let's max it.
Yep. It is. They made him look really good, though. Or, her, them? Oh, of course, I got the slime. But there's more. <laughs> what? Maybe? Do we have alternate costumes? They're all characters. Honestly, like that was that was more than I was expecting. People are saying like, oh, it's gonna be one character. They fucking like they just dumped all the fucking characters in there. That's really loud. Maybe just a slight little adjustment. I'm happy with that. And of course. I'm happy with it. I don't know. You sound like you're mad about it. Like, I don't have it in me. If it was just one character, I'd be like, oh, that's lackluster. But they gave him, like, either three echoes or four different out- or, like, three other outfits. So, like, that's- that's really cool of them. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. In this Nintendo Direct for E3 2019, we'll showcase a variety of games, many of them coming soon. But before we dig Might into as well the be next game, there is someone I'd like to introduce first. <laughs> what? What are you doing here? <laughs> Get it, Doug Bowser. Wait, 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 wait a minute. There's been a bit of a mix-up. You're not the right Bowser. Sorry, but I'm the right Bowser for this presentation. Alright, now it's canon. Bowser's first name is Doug. That's why there was a mistake. No, no. This way. Bye-bye. Maybe next time. Are you... That was amusing. No, but we get that a lot. Well, let's get back to it. Please, take it away. Hi, everyone. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo of America, and I'm thrilled to join you for today's Nintendo Direct. This is our chance to show the world we have games for every time... Yeah, here's Mother 3. <laughs> Whether you love action, RPGs, or you're just looking for something new, we've got you covered. Okay, so let's get a look at one of those games by taking a tour of Luigi's Mansion 3. Yes! Fuck yes. Give it to me. 
Oh. It does look a little bit more like the old game. They got like a it's like a bridge between the two. Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye, for not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts. Well, they kept the old design, or the new design for the ghosts. Simply scare them with the straw bulb, then suck them All right. up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new features as well. First, the slam. Well, they look closer to the the newer ones than they do the older ones, I think. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. That's cool. Next, the suction shot. Find the plunger. Of course, they had this in um you can destroy they had this in the Smash trailer from last year. It's effective against certain ghost types too. That's cool. That sounds like fun. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. In Luigi's Mansion 3, oh, Luigi farts. Can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad. Egad looks great. Luigi. Change between Luigi and oh. Luigi to use both their skills. Luigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he makes for co a co-op partner. But proceed with caution. Guigi and water definitely don't mix. <laughs> now please direct your attention to the scare scraper. Spooky? Sure. Yet it also houses what? players for local or online co-op gameplay. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads and face any challenges. Was it in Dark Moon? Throws at you together. It looks like fun though. I don't remember it being. I I don't remember it in Dark Moon. I didn't play. I guess I didn't play enough of it. That looks like fun though. What a place to wake up in a haunted hotel with floor after floor of oddities. And mischievous ghosts lurk within. Okay. He looked what good. Will befall our missing Mario and friends yeah. and his dear brother Luigi. Their fate rests in Oh, that looks cool. Hands. Luigi's Mansion 3. Still no date. Still no fucking date. God damn it, you showed us that much gameplay and you still don't have for a date for us. <laughs> Ah! This is Luigi's Mansion 3. It looks so good. This game in a series that I personally love. And we can look forward to seeing okay. some of the new gameplay elements. I'm getting that sleepy seats. in this strange hotel as we dive deeper into this title on Nintendo Treehouse live at E3 oh. 2019. We'll be streaming <laughs> content, some you've never seen before, right from the show floor, including live gameplay of Super Mario Maker 2. D and on Deal. 3, our Treehouse staff will get their hands on some promising indie games that are new to Nintendo Switch. Deal. While you watch today's Nintendo Direct, keep an eye out for this icon to learn what other games will appear on Nintendo Treehouse live at E3. I'll probably end up watching some of this off stream. You won't want to miss it. Keep or it on this. in the background. Have a look. Netflix. Oh, slept too long. Far too long. <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. From this dark light, brighter than the three suns they sparked a life. What? Heroes of Thra, strong and brave. 
strength and bravery alone will not save Thra. No! Unlock your true potential. Unite as one! Only together can you defeat what is to come. Heroes of Thra. They're going to need all the help they can get. Oh, Jim Henson. Oh, that's the guy who uh, was behind the Muppets. Huh. Oh, I want to... Yeah, okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm good for more gameplay of this one. I'm actually really excited for this Legend of Zelda game. It looks... I love the style of it. It looks really cute and just fun to play. I like the fact that if the characters had the same sprites as Mario enemies, they just grabbed the Mario enemies. Like the pokies are literally just pokies from Mario. I believe it has Goombas as well. When does it come out? Give me a release date. Uh, duh. Me too. What? Wait. It's Zelda Maker as well. That's so weird. September 20th, that's not too far off. And see it on Treehouse Live, okay. What's Square bringing to Nintendo now? This is. Did we see this one during Square Enix? This isn't Dragon Quest. Is it? Wait, did they say Dragon Quest? Am I stupid? No, it's a mana game. Which the, those that, that game series is fantastic. I haven't played it since the original uh, Secrets of Mana back on, like, SNES, but... Wait, they're doing the whole remaster! Really? Cl oh, fuck yeah! <gasps> oh, shit, later today! I'm gonna fucking download that. Those games are fantastic, holy shit! All right. I thought they would have shown that at Square Enix yesterday, but I guess they saved it. Witcher? Witcher on Switch? Really? All right, sure. It might not look the best, but hey, sure, why not? To be able to take a game like that on mobile, I mean, that's that's cool. Exactly, I play it on the go. Yeah, sure. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? You will come, won't you? 
Years ago. I'm gonna grab my other energy drink. Uh, eat energy. And this does not appeal to me. What should we do, teacher? Kill every last one of them. I'm okay with. I'm okay with Dragon Quest. Fire Emblem, Still, not for me. Still, have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Someone must put a stop to the cycle of the strong trampling the weak. So the fell star consumes even the darkness itself. Yet we have the strength to scale the walls. Opposite for you. I don't know. I'm. I guess I'm mad because Fire Emblem and Advance Wars play like exactly the same, but Advance Wars doesn't get games anymore because Fire Emblem's so damn popular. I loved Advance Wars back when they uh, actually released games for it. How lovely it would be for this moment to last forever. <laughs> Great. I'm glad it's coming out. People will be happy about that. Sure. More games. Nintendo Switch is the only gaming console you can play not only on your TV at home, but anywhere you go. We know that. What else? In fact, with a system like this, it might be fun to play Resident Evil at a location like this. What? 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 No lights. No lights. Hey. Are these real people? Something about this just like it, it looks incredibly touched up. Resident Evil on Switch, huh? What? RE5 on Switch? An RE7? Wow, okay, guys. Alright. Yeah, bring it all to Switch. Fuck, I don't want to buy another console. Playing a Resident Evil game in a place like that might not be my way to play, but... I bet you could find your way to play, don't you think? For now, please take a look. That was cool. I mean, like, I, I haven't played a Resident Evil game in a hot minute, so... Was today the 4th of July? If not, not yet. is the Empire striking back or what? Looks like things are gonna get weird today. Just... What is this? This seems like this feels like no more heroes, but it's not. What is? <gasps> no way! Never mind. Don't you worry. A hero descends. What? They're an 
no heroes in this world? <laughs> there totally are. My name is Travis Touchdown. I'm the last hero around. Here to save the world. I'm also just a passing assassin. <laughs> now let's do this. So oh my god! I haven't played No More Heroes in so long. It's so fun. Holy fuck, they're doing another one. Oh my god. What? That's so fucking fantastic. This is Kaiser. He led an elite team of Contras during the war. Hungry Beast. HB is actually a cyborg. What? I love him so much. This is Miss Harakiri and her alien gut bucket. They survived by merging together during the alien wars. Weird game. Gentlemen, the sweetest bug you'll ever meet. You soiled my arm. Uh. Looks fun, I guess. Graphics are a little crusty, but gameplay looks like it's there. Is this like a port or something? Something I've never heard of? Or is this brand new? That's a Contra game? What? Oh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Bringing Contra games to the Switch? Yeah, fuck yeah we are. I'll play those. Later today, hey, not bad. I gotta spend some money, I guess. Oh, okay. The game that they dropped on us, what, last year? That no one knew what the fuck it was? Looks cool, I guess. It looks pretty. I have arrived. Don't give up. Begin the mission. It's your call, rookie. The battle's already started? If you get in our way, we will eliminate you. A new awakening draws nigh. Can we wrap this trailer up real quick? I don't want to see any anymore. I want I want something else. Next. Next. Please. It looks cool, trust me. You won me over, it looks cool, great. Please. I would love to play another Armored Core game. That's what it looks like. I think it's the, I think it's the stream, not the game. I'll probably watch the trailer after this is over. All right, cool, great. Looks like a cool game. I, play, I like playing Armored Core back when. It looks kind of similar. That's not Animal Crossing. Star Fox? It's like... Fantasy Star Fox. Instead of a instead of like a spaceship, you're just flying on a dragon. Same shit. It's a rail shooter. Panch oh, Panzer Dragoon. Okay. That's cool. But when? Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, you can't just show that and not give us like a hint. Konnichiwa. Hello. Hello. I'm Shinya Takahashi from Nintendo. Earlier this month, we held a I know who that is. for the latest games in the series. Pokemon Sword. I didn't think they were going to show Pokemon. Pokemon Shield. The developers from Game Freak showcased the new Galar region. The location of your new adventure. And some new Pokemon you'll encounter there. It yeah, nice recap. Until these games launch. So please stay tuned. Really, that's it? By the way, in these games, you can use certain functions of the Pokeball Plus accessory, allowing you to take a That's new. from one of these games out for a stroll through the real world with you. You may not be able to use the device as a game controller, but if you spend some quality time with a favorite Pokemon of yours, then something good might happen. 
In the Nintendo booth at this year's E3, fans can play Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield for the first time anywhere in the world. I hope you guys have a time machine. In this gameplay demo, you can challenge one of the gyms in the Galar region, the one and only Water Gym, where the water type gym leader Nessa will be there waiting for you. If you're attending this year's show, I encourage you to experience a battle between Dynamax Pokemon, which is an advanced. Yeah, she's a nice looking gym leader. Also, Immediately after this Nintendo Direct, I'll stay hydrated. You got a hydrated bot. For live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on Nintendo Treehouse Live. And now I'd like to shift gears. Please have a look at this. Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, Animal Crossing, please. That's not Animal Crossing. Been waiting for you. As you know, Earth is currently under extra I'm glad they're not spending any time on um, Super Mario Maker. Like the ones you've just seen for the first time. Because they're gonna have plenty of that in um, in Trias Live, and they've already had their own direct for that. If they're not showing Animal Crossing now, I wouldn't be surprised if. Um, If they don't do Animal Crossing, I, 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 I guarantee we're going to get an Animal Crossing direct by itself. I don't know if we're going to get a new style for Super Mario Maker. I, they don't have much time. Unless they're going to go over. Because we still have... I mean, there's still Metroid Prime 4 to touch on. Animal Crossing to touch on. Super Mario Maker to touch on. You got a lot of stuff that they haven't even looked at that people are excited for. Oh, got delayed? I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. Okay, then. Never mind. That's fine. I'd rather, I'd rather them, um... I'd rather them make it better. Oh, I didn't realize that the studio went bankrupt. That sucks. All right, that didn't it do it all for me. It seems like an interesting looking game. Platforming, hack and slash, cool. I probably won't play it. What in God's name? That looks cool. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. Death by our hands is not an honor they have earned. They deserve something. Even with this stone at my I like the style of it. It's in the comic book style. Cool. Whatever's happening, we can beat it. Keep fighting. I still won't play it. Jump in any time now, darlings. I'd rather this style than the style they're using for uh, that Avengers game. That Square Enix is putting out. This is I feel like this is better looking. Purely in terms of style, I think I think it's better.
I'm not a fan of Marvel, but like, give me DC any day. But if I had to pick Marvel, I would pick the comic book style of Marvel. I like the saturated colors. Oh, don't spend time on this. <gasps> this I'm excited for. I'd like to know when it's coming out. June 13th, holy shit. Okay. Fantastic. It's coming up pretty soon. Mario and Sonic. Of course, we got another Olympic Games coming up, so they got. Did they change Eggman's style? They didn't, did they? Are they using the newer Eggman style now? No. How dare they? How dare they take away my Eggman? No, it's fine, it's whatever. I don't care. What was that? Show that again. What the fuck was that? So, what do you think so far? Now for some follow-up information on a game that fans have been waiting for. Animal Crossing? Take a look. Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing? Animal Crossing? Attention, please. The Nook Inc. getaway <gasps> charter flight will soon be arriving at the dessert. Yeah! Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> Oh, it looks so fucking good! Oh, it's so pretty! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god, you can put furniture anywhere! Oh, I am so excited for this fucking shit now. Holy shit. I... What is the... What? You start from fucking scratch, and you have to build up from nothing, and you can build... I... <laughs> and there's fucking multiplayer. That's a lot of people. That's a long ways away, but I am so fucking hyped for that! Nook phone? And you still have to pay back Tom- Oh my god! However, we need to change its release date to March 20th- Fine! Do it! To ensure that the game is the best it can be, we must ask you to wait a little longer. I'm I'm totally okay with that. Make it better. We hope you look forward to I fucking of I need to watch that trailer over and over and over again to see all that shit. There was so much in that trailer. Live, the game's producer, Mr. Nogami, and the director, Ms. Kyogoku, will come on for a live demonstration of some early moments in the game. So please stick around. Uh huh. Okay. By the way, there are many different types of games coming to Nintendo Switch from Nintendo and our partners. So, we've prepared a highlight reel to show you what's in store for 2019 and beyond. I mean, I, I guess I can continue to the treehouse. If they're immediately doing Animal Crossing, I'll save the treehouse. Oh, Spyro. I already have it on PS4. I'm not going to buy it again. 
But I'm happy about that. Fucking Hollow Knight's fantastic. Oh, I, that, this game looked really cool. I remember watching it when it first came out. I don't care if Banjo made the cut anymore. I said what I wanted. I wanted Luigi's Mansion and Animal Crossing. I'm good. You don't get to give me anything else. They gave me fucking. I, I, they could have just said a release date for Animal Crossing and said, "Oh, uh, Animal Crossing Direct will be coming soon." But no, they gave me. They gave us footage, a new release date. Hundred percent, I'm fine. Hey, look, Dead by Daylight. Looks crusty, but hey. I mean, being able to play Dead by Daylight in my fucking, like, in my hands like that, and that's, that's fucking cool. I probably won't, like, play it that much, but interesting nonetheless. Oh, there's Just Dance. I think I see it's coming out in the Wii, too. Oh, I didn't say anything. Darn. That's a cute platformer. I heard Dauntless is good. I, I know a bunch of streamers who've been playing that lately. Hey, there's Mario Maker 2. No new footage, though. That's all footage we've already seen. I'm okay with that. But wait, there's more. It's a lot of rare characters. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! I know what that was! I know what that was! Fucking saying we're not getting them. I fucking knew it. I wasn't giving up fucking hope. Yep. Uh huh. And and <laughs> oh fucking yes, raring to go. Never doubt. Oh, the music is so good. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna fucking cry. Oh, that's so beautiful! One! <laughs> okay, fine! I'll wait till fall. Jesus Christ! Oh my fucking jeez! Obviously, wasn't Duck Hunt silhouette, was it? Please stay tuned for more information about DLC in the future. As for now, the Switch, we have more games in development beyond what we. God fucking damn it! I'm looking forward to the day we can introduce them to you. Fucking blue balls me all the way through you, you fucks. Before we end this direct. I actually have one more thing to show you. Thank you very much for watching.
Until next time. One more thing. What? Is this DLC? Breath of the Wild 2? It is a sequel. Wow. Congrats, Nintendo. You built me. They gave me everything I wanted. Again. Fucking Nintendo at the top. Best fucking. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to E3 2000. Best conference of the of E3. Bowser from Nintendo of America, and he is Bill Trump. I knew Banjo was gonna be here the whole time. I stuck fucking to it. We just mentioned Banjo, New Breath of the Wild, fucking. We're gonna give you a sneak peek. Animal fucking. Cr I just. I. But I think there's a lot of folks out there that are pretty excited about what they just saw. <laughs> well, Doug, I think it goes without question that I, myself, am a huge fan of the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, like a lot of people, I put a lot of time into the Breath of the Wild. So, personally, I am incredibly excited that we're not getting new DLC. We are getting a full sequel, a brand new game in development for Nintendo Switch. Um, so, ho hopefully everyone out there is excited I as well. So. Um, so I like their mics. Good quality. A lot to like in this Nintendo Direct. A lot of other things as well. Uh, lots of games for lots of players, from Dragon Quest XI S to even things like Panzer Dragoon, uh, the Dark Crystal. Panzer Dragoon was a that was a was a twist. I didn't expect that. I haven't seen that in a long time. Looking forward to Luigi's Mansion Three. I'm a huge fan of the series. Me too, Bowser boy. Looking forward to being able to walk through this the various levels of this spooky hotel. I. And the thing I'm actually really looking forward to is the new Poltergust and its updated uh, capabilities, including the slam move. It's going to be a lot of fun. Killing, killing I've had him on my desk all ghosts. fucking week. Right. And, uh, Blue balls me. This gonna, uh, all the way through all my E3 conferences. I, I, in the back of my head, still fucking keeping up hope. You know, one other thing I'm really excited about is, uh, is what we got on the floor here. And I have proof that I was keeping up, I, I, that I had, I still had hope. Because after I changed, after I changed it, this morning, before I started streaming, you ready? Oop. I changed it back. Of the gym leader battle arena, and I think that's going to be really great for them. But we have something special for everybody watching live. Uh, our very first segment on Nintendo Treehouse Live this year at E3. I never going stopped to be believing. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, and we're going to give people a look at a much bigger part uh, of that game. Um, and I think. If you look at the, the banjo trailer. Almost yeah. Ready. So I'm going to head over there in just a second, and we're going to get that kicked off. Fantastic. Uh, so great. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And Donkey Kong, Diddy, and K. Roll. I mean, those are all Rare's characters. Thanks, everyone, for viewing. Make sure you tune in next for Tree They see Benja, they're so happy and go nuts. Of course they do. It's, yeah, it's, it's rare. And you know what? I guarantee we're getting fucking more rare spirits. Jet Force, Gemini, Perfect Dark. I feel it. I feel it because they were, were in the game files. everything that we have to offer uh, E3 this year. Thank you very much. I feel like we're gonna get those characters as spirits. Hi everyone, welcome to Nintendo Treehouse Live 2019. My name is Teresa, and uh, we're here to kick off to the first view of the live gameplay of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. I'm I don't know if I'm gonna do Treehouse Live here. 
Mr. Masuda, who is the I guess I'll watch Pokemon. I don't mind. Mr. Amori, who is the well, I'll, we'll stick around for a bit. By David from the Pokemon I'm okay with doing more of a watch party here. Um, they also have a little cameo appearances of Square Bunny, Gurky, and Sobble. They're super, super cute. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also accompanied by Terry. I, and, uh, I always fucking knew. Banjo deserves it. <laughs> All right, so to kick things off, um, I am going to turn this down just a bit so I can talk over it a bit more. Um, fuck. <sighs> I'm so happy with what they've done. Like, these conferences have been a slog. I slogged through... You can make, you can even make a request. I slogged through um, Ubisoft and Square Enix. They weren't great. Square Enix had some good stuff. Ubisoft had fucking nothing. I was just waiting to this point. <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizon Multiplayer Series. Next March, Absa fucking lootly. I'm gonna be. We're gonna be streaming Mario Maker. I might be streaming Pokemon. I'd like to, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just. Uh, I, I have a hard time getting through whole Pokemon games. It's a lot. Luigi's Mansion, we're going all the way through. There are so many games coming up that I really, really, really want to stream. Um, and I'm so excited for all this stuff. But mostly, like Mario Maker, Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion. I cannot wait to stream these games. Absolutely open multiplayer for Animal Crossing. If you want to do multiplayer for uh, for Mario Maker, you want to show me your levels, that's going to be great. We're going to be doing all of this. I cannot wait. Hell, I'll fucking stream Smash when Banjo comes out. Maybe not when the uh, uh, Dragon Quest characters come out. They're good. They're cool. I'll play as them, I feel like. They look like they have some cool moves. I want to test them out. I want to play with them, but I'm way more excited for Banjo. I want to get all the spirits live on stream. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, I'm still going to fucking cry. They brought Banjo, Banjo in. God, it, that it, it was such a big part of my childhood. That's the reason I was so excited during Microsoft. It's like Banjo was fucking huge for me. Yeah, they took Banjo off the waitlist. It's I, I've been wanting Banjo and Smash since Melee it was out. You know, I, I loved playing as Duck Hunt because it was kind of similar to how I pictured Banjo would be. And I liked the little twist they did there because, like, they had a costume for the Duck Hunt dog, I believe, in um, Smash 4 uh, for Wii U and 3DS. I believe there was a reference because it was like a dark colored dog and a red duck, if I remember correctly. And people were like, oh, it's a reference to Banjo. Square for Gino. I mean, Square's already got their um, their their character. They got their Dragon Quest. Oh, well, Square also has uh, Cloud. That's two for Square. Yeah, Square's got two reps. I don't know if they'll do three. This game looks great. Look, at the, I, I didn't realize it was gonna be this like kind of three D. That looks beautiful. Did that guy just spawn in on the left there? Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Yeah, I don't think Gino. Maybe Gino's costume will come back. And he's a spirit, yeah. Getting a phone call. I care. It's <laughs> it's from my cousin. I guarantee it's because of uh, Banjo. I'll call talk to him later about it. I, I, I'm hyped for, I, I'd be hyped for Gino only because Mario RPG was probably one of my first RPGs I got all the way through. Like, I went all the way through because it was Mario. And I didn't realize how much it was like Final Fantasy or other similar games at the time. I never had a chance to play them. I played Chrono Trigger. If we get a Chrono Trigger character, which I guarantee fucking won't happen unless they remaster that game or something. But... I don't know, we have, uh, there's a lot of good stuff. Like, honestly, there's a lot of good RPGs for the SNES. Secret of Mana is also fantastic. A bit, bit more Zelda-like, but fantastic game. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry we're not really listening to it, but I just want to see how it looks. I'm, I'm waiting on uh, Animal Crossing, really. Ugh, fucking... 
Fucking Banjo and Smash, man. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking Nintendo. Nintendo's been a huge, it's such a, such a, such a huge part of my life. Like, other companies have disappointed me. Like, I used to play, like, vehicular combat games made by, like, Single Track. And I think it was Incognito that did it, 989 Studios. And, like, those games turned to shit. They, they, they don't, they didn't hold up in the, in current games. Or current, uh, the current game climate. Those were a huge part of my childhood, too. There were so many games that I played in my childhood that just don't keep up now. I, I, that's why I'm so excited. Like, Evil Genius 2, Destroy All Humans remake. Like, both of those games were huge parts of my childhood, and I never thought they'd come back. But all of a sudden, it's like, hey, by the way, uh, we were, you know, the developers were a kid when I was a kid. They they played these, these games. They were growing up with these games just like me. That's why these games are coming back now, and I'm so hyped for all these games coming out. I'm going to be streaming Destroy All Humans. I'll be streaming Evil Genius 2 when they come out. Those games were great last major smash picks gino isaac i don't know if isaac because he's he's a he's a an assist trophy dixie i don't know they've got a lot of uh they've got they they just they, they we just got a new donkey kong rep maybe dixie is an echo but rayman i doubt ubisoft i don't think we'll send rayman out waluigi's not happening crash and spyro no activision won't do it Shantae, not much of a demand, but maybe. Bandana Waddle D, I wouldn't doubt. He could be, it's possible. Sora, I. Mm, Tails is already a costume, I thought, too. That's just repeat request. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, that's my thoughts on each of those. I don't think. I think the most likely ones would be Dixie Kong and Waddle D. Paper Mario would be a good one. He could have a completely different move set from Mario, but they'd need to have if they maybe like remaster um, Paper Mario one and uh, Paper Mario one and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. I could see it happening. Maybe even bring Color Splash over to uh, Switch because that wasn't a bad game. Yeah, the stickers. He has the hammer moves. It could bring in a lot of the moves that like were f because he had like he was like a star storm attack as well. He had from uh, it was like one of the item the, the star item you could use back in that game. Dude, I, I said I was gonna cry. Like I'm not even joking. Like I teared up a little bit. I I I, I can't stress enough. Banjo was a huge game in my life. I played so much Banjo 1 and 2, and I definitely beat the first one. I don't know about the second one. I can't remember if I fully beat it, but... That and Luigi's, Luigi's Mansion as well, like, that... I think I told the story on stream before, but the first time I really got through Luigi's Mansion, it was during my Christmas break after I got the game, and I couldn't even read yet. And I, like, I sat on the couch with my grandfather. He had a guide for the game, and he's reading the whole thing to me, telling me what to do next in the game and where to go. And that's, like, a huge memory for me, you know? These... Yeah, I don't care who they pick for the rest of the DLC. I didn't care... Uh... I didn't care much for Joker. He's not really my play style. I don't know how much I care about, uh... What do you call it? Uh, Dragon The Dragon Quest characters, because I don't know how they play yet. Well, I like how you can call the Pokemon to you and kind of kite them around to get something you want. Eldrick is his name? I don't know. It's like, I want to see how he plays. If he plays if he plays similar to Link, I'll probably like him. Uh, I can't complain. I might end up picking him over Link because he seems like a, like a more interesting character. I don't know. I also, I like, I think I like young Link as well. I don't know. I like the, I like the Link characters. I th if they if I if I play as a sword character, it's either Martha or one of the Links. Yeah, for real. So fucking pumped for Animal Crossing. I I love I love this. This this is so cool. The wild area with all these Pokemon spawning in. You can actually see before you actually get attacked or whatever. That's so cool. And cultivate my island. I can't wait. And I guarantee we're gonna be getting a, a, a quite a few new people in from Mario Maker as well. So by the time we hit. 
by the time we hit Animal Crossing next year, we'll have at least a, a little bit of a Nintendo following, I hope. No following Pokemon? Maybe in towns. Maybe it just doesn't happen in wild areas. Or the wild area. It's singular. National Pokedex. Yeah. Oof. That was a that was a tough hit. Smash website to update. I'm waiting. I, I want the trailer to release on Pokemon's. Or not Pokemon, not Pokemon, on Nintendo's uh, YouTube. You're gonna make a prediction for Smash? Alright, go for it. Oh, he's got a bike! Look at that! He, he's fucking has a little bike outfit! A little helmet, that's cute. Oh, that's cool. One character in December and one in February. Wait, the bike goes in the water. Look at that. That's cool. I like that freedom to the game. That looks fun. Yeah, this Pokemon game does look really good. It's like a true 3D Pokemon game. This is like, this is the kind of shit I was dreaming of back when GameCube was a, was a new thing. <laughs> Made the jump to home console really well, yeah. Oh, he's gonna go fishing too. It's just like Animal Crossing. Diamond and Pearl remaking this style? That would be really cool. I can't take my eyes off this. I mean, I, I am a sucker for Pokemon Yellow. That's the only Pokemon game I beat. I like I wanted to get through Sun and Moon because that was that was my like my valiant return to Pokemon. I just didn't have the time for it. I should get some food, food and G fuel. Uh, I believe uh, we're getting. My dad said something about getting food for lunch or something. I don't know when. I'm gonna wait on him to say something. I had two granola bars, so I'm I'm okay. I went to bed around two a.m., so I mean, like, I'm not too I'm not too too tired. He pinches old skins. Yeah. I'll I'll pull it up here if you want as soon as it comes out. I did see. Uh, yeah, and I saw how the stage moves. The, the way it was is the stage is still horizontal, but I saw that camera spin, but the stage stayed horizontal, or stage stayed like the same. It they they. they Fucking man, cannot wait for that to come out. All right, I'm on their website now. Yeah, of course it hasn't updated yet. Blue balls in this even more. Well, actually, will they will they will they talk about banjo first, or are they gonna up are they gonna update for the? Uh... Yeah, they haven't updated for any of the DLC fighters. Did they have uh, Joker's alt before he was out, or did they wait? For him to get released. Oh, 
Oh, they're talking about uh, multiplayer. Turn it up a little bit. Multiplayer in the wild. Good announcement, guys. Fantastic. That wasn't sarcasm. I don't know. I'll, I'll wait till later today. I just want to watch that trailer again at some point. They moved on. Oh, they may want to interested what the red lights are. Hold on. So those are actually what uh, are called Pokemon Dens, and there's a red Pokemon Dens. From them when there is a Dynamax Pokemon inside. Oh, okay. Kind of represents the energy of the Dynamax. Gotcha. I was worried a little bit. When we get to about halfway point, I was like, man, we're getting, we're not getting to any of the good games, but they they really sucker punched at the end there. They were they weren't pulling any punches. They were like, hey, by the way, here's all the fucking good shit. Now shut the fuck up. I love it. I was so happy with that. He said, Rare, I pooped a little. Well, I thought about it. I looked, I was like, oh, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, King K. Rule. I mean, at least two of those in those two of those characters were invented by Rare. Diddy Kong and King K. Rule are rare original characters that Nintendo got the rights to when they kept Donkey Kong. Like that was that was that was still Nintendo's thing. That's why we were able to bring those characters in so easily. Manjo B character number 73. Cool. Bruh, plan B, Panjo, and Smash. Did I- wait, have I told you the joke that I had? Of when people were asking for Waluigi? Okay, so... Everyone wants Waluigi and Smash, right? That's, that's all everyone wanted, that the people kept asking for it over and over and over and over again, right? There's a reason why... We didn't get Waluigi, and I know why exactly. I'm just trying to find the right picture. I gotta pull up the right image, though. So, yeah, it's the pick Waluigi holding a plant. Like, this. This is what... This is what Sakurai saw. He's like, oh, you want this character in Smash? Okay, I'll put that character in Smash. Just a runner of both of them, yeah. Yeah, Piranha Plant's moveset's really cool. Uh, I... Did I just... Oh, my phone died. No, it didn't die. I just... I... That was weird. My phone went black and I was confused. Yeah, it takes inspiration from all the games. Of course it does. It's it, it's the quintessential, like, Mario enemy, like, Mario just regular enemy uh, character. You know, they, they could have added, like, Goomba or Koopa Troopa, but they're like, no, no, no. Piranha Plant's more interesting. And it also brings in what Mario Sunshine and PD Piranha because he had the he was the boss uh, from Brawl and they brought him back. It, it's it's great. DLC announced smart proof me costume theory. What me costume theory? What if it's a me costume? They're not in, or it doesn't matter. Uh, you want to link me to it, or let me just look it up? Third parties reselling old me costumes equal third party characters. Oh. Yeah, 
Oh, I see. Hmm. So basically what you're saying is because we got another square character, we'll be getting square outfits with it. I get this. Okay. Okay, I can see this. Huh. Interesting. It's possible. I'm not I'm not gonna say like, oh that's you know, what am I supposed to say that? It's it sounds plausible. Crossing's gonna come up. I really want to see Animal Crossing. Please show me Animal Crossing. I'll be happy when I see Animal Crossing. I'm just making a quick look at Reddit. I wanted to see if anyone was like doing like super high top posts on our gaming yet about Banjo. No, oh, it hasn't made it to the top yet. Let me check new, see how many posts there are about it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's a. No, oh, it's just a time stamped video. Banjo Kazooie reveal for Smash. Okay, yeah, there's pictures for it and not everything now. Proof for Banjo lined up. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't get an announcement for a Banjo game. I'm honestly, I'm quite surprised. Not no, like, remaster, no nothing. Yeah, rare replay for Switch would have been really nice. I wouldn't. I honestly really wouldn't have minded playing through Blast Core on uh, Switch. That was a that's that that was a weird game from my childhood that no one seems to remember because it was like a weird obscure rare game. And I wouldn't mind going through Banjo again. I didn't play. I played Viva Pinata at a friend's house, and I was like, "Oh, this is cool," but I wasn't like super hyped, interested in it. Rare platformers were big for me. I got it. Yeah, four out of ten sounds about right. <laughs> Next Smash game gets Steve. I mean, technically Banjo is the Microsoft rep now, so... Slash Rare rep. I mean, is it really, though? I mean, it's, he's more of a Rare rep than he is a Microsoft rep, just from where he comes from, so I don't know. They, they, they own him, right, but I mean, like... Mm. Yeah, those, those fleshes are super cute. That's be so nice for your kids to get into something that, like, you work for a company and your kid likes the content that the company creates. That must be such a great feeling. Like, oh, hey, I work for a company and they put out this game called Pokemon. And, like, you, you get, like, I'm sure he gets, gets, like, a free copy or something like that. And you're just like, hey, kiddo, play this. And the, and the kid, like, gravitates to it and loves it. Also, interesting. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, they have their switches plugged directly into the TV. They're, they're plugged in via like a VGA cable. Did you notice that? Yeah, 
I'll see if they if they show the floor again. They have the switches on the floor, and they're plugged into the TV. They have the whole console. They have the whole console out, not docked. They don't just have the controllers. They have the whole console in their hand. They're looking down at the screen, and it's plugged in via v VGA cable. I want, I want my Switch to be customized like that. Yeah, it is a step up from New Leaf. You're, you're not you're not just the mayor who decides what the town does. You're going to build a fucking town from scratch. Yeah, everyone starts in tents. Yeah. It sounds so cool. It's, it's like... It makes it brings you back to the game even longer. It's like, well, it was easy to kind of max out in New Leaf because, like, okay, well, I built everything I wanted to build. I made my town perfect. This is this is all I wanted to do. And like now, it's like, oh yeah, you don't even fucking have a town hall. It's like you gotta build a fucking town hall. You gotta you gotta work to send letters. First thing, and then yep, yeah, outside furniture. I think the first thing I'm gonna end up building, if I can, I want to build a museum first because that was that's always one of my favorite things in Animal Crossing is having a museum. Maybe it is a bigger map. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, I want I want, I want a museum because like I love donating like all the bugs, getting my golden net. I hope they bring that back. That's something I really, really, really like about Animal Crossing. Build the bank first. Build the cafe first. Brewster is actually a really cool character. I guarantee we're going to get KK back. We're going to get his songs and whatnot. I'm so excited. We're going to get income interest. Yeah. Yeah, Nintendo is so good at winning E3. They're great at teasing. They're great at releasing games that their fans want. They know. They know their audience better than any other game publisher or developer out there. Okay, granted. Okay, you know what? Square Enix knows their audience. They know exactly what they want. Okay, okay five minutes. I know, I'm just going to watch this for a bit. I'm just getting excited for Animal Crossing, but... So I wanted to let them know what the change would be well in advance. Of course, as uh, somebody who's been hunting for a lot of shiny Pokemon and Pokemon Let's Go, um, any of those Pokemon that do appear in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'll still be able to transfer uh, from Pokemon Let's Go into Pokemon Sword and Shield through Pokemon Home, correct? まあ、別の yeah, in the Galar region, you're going to find a lot of Pokemon, including a bunch of Pokemon that no one has discovered yet. So it, the games are definitely. Oh my god, I just realized fucking banjo music in Smash as well. Oh, it's gonna be so many good mixes. Fucking Grant Kirkhope is a legend. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm excited to see how the story unfolds and to explore both the region and the wild area. Um, but is there anything else that you want to add before we say goodbye? And, and, uh, Just say goodbye! Bring me Animal Crossing! Yeah, that is weird. They have switches plugged in via VGA cables. I want a switch like that. Give me the new model of Switch with a VGA plug so I can plug it in and play it on my lap and stream making uh, Mario Maker levels. Come on, guys. Guess I have to mod my Switch now. Yeah, for me, it definitely is the max raid battles we just showed off. Playing together with your friends in this kind of cooperative uh, 
battle feature that we've never had in the Pokemon series before. It's really just a lot of fun, and I hope that fans of the, of the series will look forward to being able to try that for the first time. So, this is a wild area where you can play a lot of players. It's very interesting. It's a local scene where you can play with your friends, and you can play with the internet and play with the world's players. まあ、出会ってここでまあ対戦や交換を楽しんでもらえたらなと思います。SMG for Mario! Welcome!My giveaway is a little complicated, but、um, trust me, it's good. Well, thank you very much for joining us today.、Uh, thank you all for watching.、Um, what we're going to do is as we get ready for our next segment here on Nintendo Treehouse Live. I believe the next one is on the 29th, so you've got time. I just want Animal Crossing. I just. Animal Crossing. It's Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay. Just. I want to get to it. I'm、uh, Morgan here with Audrey, and we are. We're in a haunted hotel. Yeah. Don't stay calm. Oh, you know what? I'm okay with Luigi's Mansion as well. Hype, I'm equally hyped for both of these games, so. It's like a fully built out haunted mansion, which is sort of where the game Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place. That's really cool. It's actually being haunted, but let's find out and take a look at this. Yeah, so we just wanted you guys at home to get a look at this. Good acting, guys. We've got some players in here now, but this is when the booth opens soon. Fans are going to get in here to play the game, but also be surrounded by this really cool ambiance. Yeah, we've got a spooky fish cauldron, the skull, the jack o' lanterns, you know, the whole. Yeah, standard issue cauldron full of green goo and fish. Absolutely. I feel like I would use the word. I mean, Is that the word where you're supposed to say that word? Ambience? Ambiance? They sounded a fancy. I can see a little bit of the opening. I kind of want to see more of that. It's really well done. Good job, Nintendo. Welcome back, Thunderman. Just show, show me Luigi's Mansion, guys. Come on. Great. Nintendo did a great job on this. Oh, Father's Day is coming up? Shit. I forgot. I'll have to grab something. Is Bellboy not an acceptable word anymore? The cameraman's like, yeah, ghost, whatever. Let's show the game. 16th? Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, I got, at least I got the week. I'll talk to my mom. Maybe she can scoop something up. What's that X? Get out of here. Again, we're inside the convention center. It is so. There's so many like blackout curtains or whatever that I don't. I do not feel like I'm. Speaking of blackout curtains, I need to pick those up this week. They're expensive. Spoke. Pokemon's done. They said they were gonna go to go buy these guys, and then they said they were gonna come back with something exciting that people wanted. I think it's Animal Crossing. That won't be today, I don't think. I'm definitely gonna come back and watch this by myself. But I wanna see what's on the TV, guys! Come on! They're showing the opening to Luigi's Mansion 3! Come on, guys! Well, the DLC, as far as it isn't disappointed in me, three brand new franchises. I'd be so happy if all the DLC third party characters. Oh, like all the Smash DLC. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's a good opportunity for them to、uh, get some word going. 
suspicious. For You're other companies and whatever. Completely normal. <laughs> See, yeah, Porky from Mother. It wouldn't surprise me if like the last one they do is an is another is like the enemy from Earthbound. So Porky, the bad guy, the big bad from Earthbound. They do that, and they do like the Earthbound trilogy for Switch or something like that. Yeah, Mother HD, like, yeah, the Mother Trilogy HD. Oh, in the style of the Zelda game. Not a bad idea. These guys are so biting time. I would, I would stream through uh, Earthbound if they did in that style. I'll, I'll, I know I'll never get a physical copy of the original. They're just biting, biting time. They're showing the Nintendo booth where they're showing off Animal Crossing. Not Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion. They're just biting time for them to get reset up for whatever they're doing here. And what we've got coming up here is something that I think a lot of folks are highly anticipating. Yes. This is the world premiere of live gameplay for the newest title in the Animal Crossing series. Yes. Animal here we Crossing go. New yeah, we're getting prepped for this. We're going to be going to, into further depth in some of the stuff that we saw in the Nintendo Direct, but also showing off some brand new stuff. So before we get to Please. further, um, I'm Sam. I'm here with Sam from Treehouse also. <laughs> Stop blue balls in me. You guys are great. Oh, that's a cool shirt. I want that shirt. Whoa, whoa, dude. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I want that KK Slider shirt. Fans of the Animal Crossing series who watch the direct right off the bat notice that this time you're sending them to a deserted island, which is quite different from the games that we previously That was a fucking cool looking shirt. Can you tell us a little bit about why you chose a deserted island as the setting this time? These guys totally seem like they're Animal Crossing developers. Like, <laughs> these are the kind of people like I picture like having like a bunch of plushes in their room. Like all Animal Crossing characters, like an entire wall devoted to it. If there's any animals, I feel like there would be. I don't know, maybe. So um, one of the reasons that we thought about having the player live on a deserted island, um, there's actually two um, main reasons. And one of the reasons being that um, previously in the legacy titles, we had the player come to a pre-existing village and then have them start um, a life there and um, from scratch. Um, but um, we thought um, maybe we can give the player more playtime. Yeah draw it out more like do the beforehand I, I can see where they're going with this start earlier on so you have a longer tie before you're at the end game and then another thing that we thought was by giving the players a choice of freedom to build something there, um, something that may, um, that they may freedom I like to too. In previous, um, yeah. Videos, um, that we were able to give them that opportunity to build everything from scratch. We thought that would be a great experience. Awesome. Me nodding on with the guy in the middle, like yes, yes, this is good. Why don't we hop right into the game and give folks a look? Yes. Give me, give me, give me, give me. So I'm gonna start off. So I think uh, one of the things that to, to, to continue on what Kyoko Kusama was talking about—it looks so pretty. Expanding the freedom. Animal Crossing has always been a series about freedom. You could choose to spend your time however you want. Load time, though. Collecting bugs, pulling. The load time is behind me. It's a little loading thing. How much that has been expanded. And I love everything about their outfits. They're ready for island life. Tommy came to me and Tommy looks so. Ready to go. They're talking about E3. The the line between the real life and Animal Crossing life is blurring it's even more. They know we're watching. I think they they they, they designed this specifically. I mean, it'd be cool if like it, when you load it into your town, they mentioned it was E3 because E3 is like the same time every year. So. I think this is specifically coded for today, though. Island getaway package, and then um, Timmy and Tommy also have a store in there too. It's actually a bold new business. Plan. Uploading thing. Like it. Even when they're in a beautiful tropical there we setting, go. they're thinking about the business. And before we kick off, uh, exploring. Look how big that map is. About what we're seeing right here. Hi. 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 Hi
の島に移住して、あのー、まだテントを張って、まあ、ここをベースに暮らしを始めたばかりの状態になります。I'm in the way. Uh, you, see, you can see most of it. Oh, it disappears as soon as I lean back. Fuck me. I'll stay leaning back. So,、um, this is how it looks inside the tent. And then、um, we only have、um, bare minimums that、um, Tom Nook gave us at the moment. I think, I think that's key. He really did only provide you with the bare minimum here. <laughs> They have it so the furniture can go in between the grid again. There it is. Half units. Yeah, I played a bunch of Happy Home Designer. Here it goes. Here comes the map. And worth mentioning here, so we're not at the very beginning of the game, it's early, but map. Start, there's not even a tent there. Stand still, show the fucking map! And as for the furniture, I think、um, many of you have noticed in the video, you can see it for a second. It looks big. Okay, you've seen enough of it. Yes, beach house. Um, and then, not just the furniture, but also the tent itself. You're able to、um, place them on the beach. This, is, this was something that you couldn't do in New Leaf, but we're able to do that. There's something in the. There was something in the sand. It just spit out water. Can you dig up clams? Yeah, it's spitting up water in the left. Can you dig up clams? That'd be really cool. To get your shovel, dig it up. Dig up, dig up, dig up. So, there are two main、um, elements that I want to show you. One,、um, both of them are something that you saw in the video. One of them is the DIY recipe. And then the other one is. They have、um, crafting in the mobile game.、Outside. So, since、um, we're here at E3 at Treehouse Live, I think I want to make that as a goal. And then.、Um, I'm not surprised they're bringing that into the main game. That's great. Oh, Dragonfly. Oh, he looks so pretty. Look at him. Oh, bye bye, Dragonfly. Oh, look at that. You can fucking craft all your own goddamn furniture. Look at the net and the shovel. Oh my god, guys. New tier of tools, yeah. Wooden tools you make yourself. Fuck. And then these DIY recipes、um, include everything from tools to furniture, and you can use a lot of the materials that you can find around the island. <laughs> One hope for this game? What? Since we came to a deserted island,、um, there is a lot of store clothes. Island, yeah, that'd be nice. Those things can also become a material to create something. Oh my god, I am in love with this game already. So, I want to make this log bench, but in order to make the log bench, I need some hard wood. So,、um, I am going to first make this axe. God damn, look at that! Look how beautiful everything is! Up in the sky because it really is a beautiful day. Look up. I'll give you some hardwood. <laughs> nice. So,、um, I think a lot of the Animal Crossing、uh, fans already know this, but、um, the game clock is actually、um, linked to the real time. So,、um, the seasons and the. Keeping that good.、Um, it is. It's you're picking weeds, and you get to keep the weeds. The 
um, the clocks that you live in. I bet they stack. They stack now, too. Um, and in, until the previous titles, we only had um, the game set in... <gasps> They're doing the trick! They're doing the trick! They know! They know! These fuckers! They're like... This is this is what the community does, so we'll do it too. Yeah, they didn't do it right. That's okay. I do that too. So right now, um, they picked up clay as well. June and it's set to June in Northern Hemisphere, but um, if you have it set to Southern Hemisphere, then I think I saw clay and coal. It's really cool, I think, being able to give players that flexibility. So if you live in the Southern Hemisphere and you want the seasons and things, the weather to kind of match more like what you're experiencing in real life. You can have that choice. You choose your hemisphere. So, like, when you're in Australia, your seasons are opposite. Not opposite. I didn't mean opposite. You know what I meant. Is it opposite? I don't remember. Yeah, it is opposite. Because, like, it's it's hot during the summer. Or the winter, right? Now that I have all the materials for Flimsy Axe, I'm going to go somewhere where they're going to let me do this for free. It's it's a circle. It's like blue dots in a circle. Here. Give me a sec. You'll see it next time. I'll sit over here for a bit. <laughs> Flimsy axe. Like, nice. Nice. I'm sorry, I'm watching on this monitor now. What the hell? Of the resident service, um, Timmy would um, buy something that you don't need in the inventory. Iron nuggets. I, I wouldn't doubt you get to upgrade. I think I feel like you get to upgrade everything. This would be, it would be silly to not upgrade this. If you can upgrade a house. Yeah, I saw the ATM. And you can buy furniture. Oh my god. I mean, Leaf could come back. This could just be very early game. Because I remember you could buy flowers from the regular Nook store, but then you could also upgrade it and get Leaf as well in order to get more of it in New Leaf, if I remember correctly. Of whether you, if you want to buy them or if you want to collect the materials on the island and then make it yourself. Leaf could also come back for an event instead. I know they like reusing their characters a lot. Leaf is in the mobile game, so I wouldn't doubt it. Earth Day would probably be a good time for Leaf. So you get They're like Achievements so Nook Mile kind of works like the actual um, airline mileage program. So um, when we moved out here on the airplane, you got miles for that. And then a lot of the activities that you do on the island, you also accumulate miles for that. Um, we just made a um, the flimsy axe, so we got um, miles credit for that as well. Um, and then so there's um, so many ways to acquire these miles and then also use them as well. Um, it's called um, Tanuki Mileage in Japanese. It's a, that's a nice progression system. I think they're learning from their mobile game. Okay. She's at a loading screen. Good job. And other activities. So there's, it's a new way of um, enjoying the game. It is really nice that it feels like you can progress doing any kind of activity that you enjoy in right. Animal Crossing 
on top of it just being a fun way for you to relax, you're making progress in the game. You're uh, having a chance to earn some of those rewards. And you can earn those rewards for doing things that you didn't always earn rewards for before, like even just picking weeds. Uh, sure, it made your area more beautiful, but it didn't really give you anything else. I wouldn't doubt that you have to upgrade stuff in order to get these characters. I feel like you unlock stuff as you go on. I think I'm going to start collecting hardwood. And here we can see just the variety. Collecting things has always been a part of Animal Crossing, but there's so many different types of collectible crafting materials now, even looking at the wood that you're chopping there. Every time you pick something up, you're going to wonder, okay, what am I going to do with this? What am I going to make with this next? That'd be cool, I have an archipelago. So as you can see, I can use a flimsy axe to collect a hard wood, but um, since we have a limited amount of time today, and there's a lot of hard wood to collect, I think I'm going to recruit Mr. Nogami here and have him help me out. Right on. どのようにするかと言いますと、この今コールアイランダーというアプリを使うと同じ島に住んでる住人同士で一緒にプレイすることができるようになります。So um this is how I'm going to do this. Um on the Nook phone, there is an application called um Call an Islander and then um when you call an island, uh, you'll be able to call another resident on the island. <laughs> That's funny. Actually kind of looks like him. Nagami-san has a house on this island as well. He can come out and help out. <laughs> no, I said I love your outfit. That's awesome. <laughs> Looks very appropriate for his <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm wearing this outfit, but all right. It's a good look. It doesn't say it's only local multiplayer. They said, I think that during the original trailer, they said it was online multiplayer as well. What happens when they go too far away from each other? So in the previous titles, I mean, of course, you were able to watch each other play and then have fun that way. But um, with New Horizons, you're able to play together and then um, cooperate in sense of um, and then so there's, it's basically a whole new way of playing together. And just as you're collecting this material here, looking at the, the wind blowing... So you can see the host has a little yellow flag over their head as well. I wonder if that means you have to stay on the host screen. Ooh, sound design, yes. Okay, nope. He has his own screen, maybe, so he can... Oh, he teleports him on! Okay, interesting. Okay. Using the same switch. So, like, he doesn't have his own screen, so it teleports him back to her screen, because she's host. Interesting, okay. I like that. And in order to achieve that from a sound perspective, um, we adapted this um, technique called Foley recording. And then um, what, what it essentially does is um, record a natural sound and then use it as a sound effect um, in the game. Yep, so using Foley. Good job. We sometimes walked on sand, uh, sand to get that sound or um, got some, cut some grass from around the office and then walked on it to get that sound. Choice between drop and place. Puck can't have functionality? Fantastic. You probably have you probably have to craft a backpack. Backpacks are craftable in Pocket Camp right now. So I wouldn't doubt. We're gonna get that as well. Um, so now I have a bench, but um, just having a single furniture is a little bit sad, so I think I'm going to make something else. 
As I was saying, like, as they add more stuff in Pocket Camp, it wouldn't surprise me if they're also going to be adding the same things in this game. Because craftable items are in that game, backpacks, being in the wilderness. Nintendo limited how much DLC a game could update. Interesting, okay. Only on the Wii U and DS. Huh. I, don't, I don't know if they'll have a limit on the Switch. Probably. Wait, that character's g uh, gathering items. The animal is gathering items, that's so cool. She had like a bunch of sticks in her hand, that's so weird. Change hope. That's so fucking cool. Um, as you can see, um, there's a little flag on top of Mr. Nogami's head, and then that shows that he's the leader, and then um, you'll be able he's a squid. to tell who he will be leading that gameplay. Nogami-san, oh, are you yes. walking around with a squid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks so good! Look at that fucking squid! <laughs> Well, this is this is this is one of the main devs for um, Splatoon. So yeah, that's why he's carrying this good around. That's the joke, and he's wearing that outfit because that's how he revealed Splatoon stuff. No, he's working on this game, you Thunderman. You silly! He's not making Splatoon three. I don't think I don't think that's coming that soon. You can have your different inventory swap back and forth who's in charge and then take advantage of that. Uh, you can actually have up to eight players living on a single island, and four of them can play together this way just by sharing Joy-Con on a single system. I would say Splatoon 3 2020 or tw late 2020 or early 2021, if at all. You can kind of share the load a little bit as you work on your island and then come play together. You're all enjoying the experience at the same time, and you're taking turns and trading and making these much bigger crafting projects. But on top of no more events? I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't know what they do different in Splatoon 3, though. And online multiplayer that we're going to be able to talk about hopefully more later on. But with that, it can be eight people So he craft. Oh, he, okay, we got those again. We got emotes. Nice. Yeah, the trailer in the Nintendo Direct, if you saw that scene at the very end with all the different players there, that was actually made using that feature. I guess he could be hinting at he's working on more Splatoon stuff. Game Freak fucked up? How'd they fuck up? Since we now have a bonfire, um, we we hunted the location. Mr. Loka hunted the location, um, and then decided that uh, around the tent would probably be the the best place. Um, Look at general. We're gonna decorate this area, and then um, Mr. Loka also mentioned. Oh, I I heard that. Um, I don't think they fucked up. The, there's a place an item and drop an item um, option, and then the players would um, be able to choose. I don't really care about transferring Pokemon, so. Doesn't really apply to me, I guess. That is really incredible. It opens up your entire island, really, the same way you decorated your house. You Sorry, me, Thunderman. In so many interesting places, and really make your island feel like your own. I want to see them dig up that clam on the left. Okay, since we have the location and we have everything set up, I think I'm gonna take a photo. That butterfly looks so good too. So of course you'll be able to use the um Could be a work in progress, Thunderman. Game isn't coming out for quite a while, so to take a photo, but we also have a camera app on the Nook phone. And you can add filters, of course, just like any proper Nintendo game these days. And by using this camera app, you're able to select um, filters or zoom in and out. And then so you'll be able to take um, photos that um, that you desire, that, that you can decorate a little bit more and have more freedom with. Mm. That's a way to commemorate a big project or when you've got a bunch of friends hanging out with you, take a little group photo. They, they want to make it like you can do like little social features in their games. I get it. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike a pose and then take this photo. 
And something that folks maybe if they're very sharp eyed are noticing, there's a little sort of spout that's coming out of the sand not too far Yes. Away. We can't really show this too much yet, but there's actually uh, Clam. clams living on the beach. And if you dig those up, you can craft fishing bait using clams. So worthwhile keeping that in mind if you're really into fishing. That's going to be a lot of fun for folks who uh, want to catch some really cool fish too. Take out the clam. Well, take out the clam. Take out the clam. Okay, so I think I saw some spout coming out here. Oh, nice. Got it. Of course they didn't use nuts and bolts style. No one likes that style. That's so cool! You fucking dig up clams! You can make bait with it! That's so interesting! Probably makes it easier to fish. Oh, you can't scare the- Wait, oh, they're not running. They're not scaring away the, uh... They're not scaring away the butterfly. That makes sense. That's really going to mix up players' experiences, depending on how you and maybe a friend of yours have been experiencing life on your island and what activities you've been doing. You might have quite a different collection of recipes at your disposal. So then, underground museum. Together and play together, it might be. Oh, you know, by the way, what have you been making? What have, what, what did I? You get flyer miles. Maybe you can fly to different islands. Nice way to kind of share that knowledge and information as you play. えっと、そうですね。えっと、ま、今日あの、お店初めてあの、アニマルクロッシング、えっと、ニューホライゾン。あの、お店しましたけども、もうなんか so, um, as you can see, we've um shown you some of the gameplay of New Horizon, and then you may think that um a lot of this is um close to being done, and yet there's a lot of um elements that we still want to work on. 2020年3月20日の発売日に向けてあの、我々スタッフ一同頑張ってますのでもう少しだけお時間をください。So, um, I'm sorry to ask, but um, if you would let us um, work a little bit longer um, and That's nice of him to mention this. On March 20th, 2020, um, we would very much appreciate it. Well, I can certainly say based on the experiences I've had having a great time with this game in the office, it's very much worth the wait. So I know right. folks if you're fans of the game, it's hard to be patient, but so that makes sense that they're working on it. They probably, it looks really done here because they've fleshed out the the engine, but I feel like they have to flesh out the individual points like upgrading your town. And they have to like have everything, have different crafting systems. That's a really complicated system that they're working on, with, especially with the amount of furniture that's usually in Animal Crossing. I completely understand. So, um, we'll be asking you for a little bit more time in order for us to, um, to have you enjoy this dessert of life on the island uh, for a very, very long time. So, um, we'll, we're all working hard to, um, to release this game. So, thank you very much for your understanding. Yeah, but in the meantime, if you wanted to hang out... I don't know what other games are showing. They said they're going to show you Luigi's Mansion at some point, but... Yep. Yes. It's a good game. I swear to God. So please check that out. Um, but that's all the time we have for today for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you so much, Sam, Shogokusan, Nogokusan, and Noriko. And uh, coming up next on Nintendo Trios Live, we got The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Stay tuned. Oh, I don't know if I want to watch. Oh. We're going on for quite a while today. That looks cool. It's not going to be, like, majorly interesting. I don't have as much to talk about. I have a lot to talk about when it comes to Luigi's Mansion and Animal Crossing, but I'll play this game when it comes out. I just don't know if I have a lot to talk about. I haven't played a lot of Legend of Zelda games. I played through quite a bit of Wind Waker and Spirit Tracks. Um, I played through quite a bit of Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, let's watch the Banjo trailer again. Absolutely. Let me Let me grab it. Oh, Game Explain has it up. I understand you don't care much for it. It looks like it looks like fun though. Um 
Let me see if Nintendo's posted it officially. Game Informer's got it up. Does Nintendo have it up? Wait, hold on. Four days ago. Give me a second. Hold on. There's something. There's something I didn't know that got announced. Rated E for everyone. More ukulele stuff. That's kind of loud. I didn't watch this. Wonder if they fleshed out the game a bit. I mean, it looks like the the environment looks better so far. I know it's. There's gameplay? Oh, there's gameplay. Vibrant 2D levels. Okay. Is it only a 2D game? Excuse me? 3D. Oh, no. It's very different. It doesn't look bad, but... It's very different. That's not what I expected. I'll definitely want the soundtrack. Grant, Kirk, Grant, Grant Kirkhope and David Wise make great music. This is This sounds fantastic. I wonder if Grant Kirkhope is coming back to do the banjo music for Smash. Eh. Okay. Never mind. That wasn't as interesting as I thought it was going to be. I don't see... Uh, Nintendo didn't post the trailer for Banjo yet. Let me double check. Yeah, Banjo Smash music. <sighs> That's going to be good. That's going to be really fucking good. Where's the Banjo trailer? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of stuff from six, four, five days ago. Weird. They don't have it up yet. Uh, I'll just grab the uh, one from Game Informer. Is it? Uh, oh, they're watching the whole thing. I guess I'll just go back in the direct or the, the. I'll go back in here to go find it. Up oh, there it is. Okay, back, 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 back. I'm gonna pause throughout it. I, I kind of want to see uh, different stuff. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just leave my mouse here. So that's the jiggy that bounces across. <laughs> the fucking squint, like, wait a sec. So good. <laughs> and then actually... I wonder what his classic is gonna be like. Like the, the classic mode. Okay. I hate when I pause that pops up. That's annoying. Okay. So we got bottles in the background. That's their map. God, why? Why do you why what is this? What what's the point of that? What is the point of having that pop up? Fuck it, I'm just gonna pause like this. God. I don't know where I'm gonna pause. What am I supposed to look at here? God, you can take them on the go. Fucking It's like recommended videos from the same channel. Okay, so that was his up B. Or his, uh, whatever. Why is there a grenade? Oh, wait, is that uh, one of the things you can shoot with Kazooie is you shoot a grenade? Because I remember he had grenade eggs in the second one. Oh, you poop out the grenade, okay. 
Maybe that's a uh, uh, a down down B. That's cute. Yeah, so that's the up B as you use the jump pad. Okay, so the way the map works, the yeah yeah it looks like a ton yeah yeah he bows. Okay, so the stage here stays the same, but it spins around it. That's really interesting. Yeah, grunty. Honestly, okay, with all of this shit, all of this shit that they have modeled, it does, it will not surprise me if we get a Banjo remaster. Like, that's the final smash, the giant Jinjo. And the reference to the end of Banjo 1. What a great shot. Look at that. Look at that shit. Fucking beautiful. So fantastic. That's my feelings right there. Eldrick one? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was at the beginning, right? Do, 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 do. There it is. Yeah, it's not it's not the worst. There there are worse characters. We could have had we could have had like another Fire Emblem character. Yeah, they could be. Sorry, just uh, not, sorry to pause it here, but uh, they could be gauging interest in Banjo to see if a remaster is viable. I don't know. Yeah, the animations are really great for these reveals. They didn't really have much of one for. Uh... I mean, it probably is viable, yeah, but Microsoft isn't great at that. Well, I forgot what else I was saying. But yeah, was did Joker have an animation like this? Like a really long one like this? Hmm. Interesting Joker didn't get one. I mean, he got, he got like a short animation. It wasn't like long like this. Yeah, not like a cutscene, I get you. Yeah. Did we see a map for them? And then we reveal more costumes. More costumes. There we go. I appreciate that they're giving the whole series love and attention as opposed to just having one character. They didn't announce a single amiibo for any of this, by the way. They'll probably talk about it in the treehouse, but it's more of like a softer announcement. So you pick different I guess it's kind of like Shulk. That looks cute. Wait, hold on. That was a taunt, and I really like that. That was a really cute taunt. I like the, um... 
Kirby in the background as well. That's cute. That's Final Smash. It is a really cool Final Smash. Yeah, I'm down. I've already bought the Fighter Pass, so I'm getting all these guys as soon as they come out. He probably comes out, so summer 2019, yeah, we're probably getting him in July. So I'm trying to think what we've got coming up. We've got, um, or end of the month? I don't know about end of the month. They've got Mario Maker coming out end of the month. I don't think they want to release them at around the same time. I mean, I guess they could release them at the same time. I don't know. Um, trying to think. So we got Mario Maker end of the month. New character for Smash at some point soon. Animal Crossing next year. Fantastic. I don't care. I got, I got, I got a whole year to play through Mario Maker now. So whatever. Luigi's Mansion in the fall. Right? That's what they said. Or they say winter. I don't remember. Fuck. Just this year still. I, w I wouldn't doubt it's going to be fall. I feel like October would be a great time to release the Ouija's Mansion 3. But, you know, development times I know are difficult. Um, so you got Luigi's Mansion probably I'm gonna say probably in the fall so we got summer of Mario Maker and whatever yeah spacing the games apart I agree especially having to stream them like I don't want to have to juggle like three or four games on top of Dead by Daylight and Death Garden and whatever other games I have on PC I still want to play like I still have to finish up Wonder Song probably this week Smash website's glitched? Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Probably a million people are refreshing that site and they're trying to add them. Yeah, they're probably updating it. Um, oh, we started at 11 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. Whatever, don't, no, we started at 11.30 a.m., sorry. Uh, we're already at 2 o'clock. Um, fuck, that was, that was a lot to go through. I'm excited for everything. I've got a lot of games coming up that I'm going to need to be streaming. I even have Crash Team Racing, uh, Nitro or whatever it is. I can't remember. The remastered of Crash Racing. I've got that pre-ordered on PS4. I believe that's this month, maybe next month. I can't remember. Never played the banjo sound clip. <laughs> no, I didn't need to because I knew he was coming out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need to do that. <laughs> you kidding me? I knew he was coming out. Why Why tease it when I know it's there? It's a lot harder to do with Nintendo as well because they they immediately pop into the game. I don't have time to... Do I think it'll be remastered? Yes. I think we'll, we'll get... We're gonna get... Okay. There it is. Uh, I think... I'm trying to think. I think we're gonna, probably going to get an announcement of Rare Replay before the end of the year. They're going to say, hey, we're porting this over to tide you over because Banjo is going to be remastered in 2021. Maybe late 2020. Because they're already working on... I feel like we have a lot of music. I think we'll get some originals and some remixes from different artists and whatever. I think it'll be like Castlevania where we're going to get quite a bit because there's a lot of good music to work with. Um, it's not hard to get a hold of Grant Kirkhope. I know he's always willing to do stuff like that. Look at the live stream. It's Mario. A kind of a maybe familiar face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I won't go into too much detail because I don't. They're lively, they're like the building? They oh, it's literally Mario. Mario. There he is. And this guy? So, um, a lot of that influenced what, uh, what I had to do when I was developing Zelda going forward. 
Yeah, well, uh, th that's because um, the original Link's Awakening reused... Um, also, yeah, Kirby's also in the game called Anti-Kirby. Yeah, they reused a lot of assets from Mario games and Kirby games in this. In the original Game Boy one. They just used, reused the sprites. So they're just literally taking that character... Like, there was a chain chomp in the game, so they're literally just taking it and saying, okay, well, it's a chain chomp then. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. It's, it's, what they, it's what they did for the, you know, is to save assets. To, they didn't want to make new assets, but they're just taking it and saying, well, you know what? You saw a chain chomp in the original game, so it's still a chain chomp. There you go. As a kid, you were like, that's a chain shop. And now as an adult, you're like, well, you know what? It's it, That's a chain shop, sure. I, I'm not surprised that they did that. I mean, what are they going to do? Make like a weird knockoff of a chain shop or a weird knockoff of Kirby? Like, yeah, just put them in the game. It's fun. Um, But yeah, with, re, uh, with uh, the banjo music tracks, I'm not like... Why don't I just play the fucking thing while I'm talking then? I'll just turn the music, turn it way down, I guess. Oh, the color, they're actually, oh, they're really going all out in this one, huh? Um, but yeah, I, I, with, with Banjo, I feel like we're getting a lot of music tracks. I feel like it's not going to be hard to remaster some of the tracks. It's not going to be hard to put some of the old ones in. <laughs> Sands and Papyrus. I actually have, I have an album by the Blake Robinson Synthetic Orchestra, the guys who did, um the score to Stanley Parable, they did a whole symphony for Banjo-Kazooie. It sounds fantastic. Look, listen to this. They could easily get something like this and toss it in smash. Doesn't it sound good? It sounds fantastic. It's a full fucking symphony. First time I heard this, I was like, this, I need this in my life. I bought this. I purchased this because it was just so good sounding. What else is in here? There's also this one. I'm gonna skip ahead. That sounds so good. Treasure Trove Cove. Is that more of it? Freeze Easy Peak. This one I have for my uh, Christmas playlist. When Christmas time comes up, this is in my this is in my mix. I think in my last one, Mad Monster Mansion, which is actually my favorite on this whole album, just sounds so spooky. I'm gonna skip ahead a bit. Like, using the marimbas like that and having such a heavy sound with them and hearing the actual mallet hit the the uh, the keys or whatever you call them. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that's so that's that's a that's a huge thing that's in my iTunes. As, again, Banjo-Kazooie Symphony by the Blake Robinson Synthetic Orchestra. If you want to look it up yourself, buy it. It's worth the buy. I think it's on Bandcamp. I think that's where I got it. But, uh... Yeah, if Rare Rare gives us Banjo 3E or Rare Replay on Switch, I'd be happy either way. I'd be, you know, I, I'm happy with Banjo, but I mean, if they're if they're gonna focus on Banjo, you've got a lot of options now. I mean, this Banjo hype, yeah, absolutely. I feel like it's gonna show them really what what kind of thing they have right now. You know, they they have something very very powerful. Do you have to unlock stuff? Is that what they're saying? So you can place boss rooms. 
you unlock new stuff. Oh, okay, so you unlock stuff as you go through the game. That's cool. I like that. I like this a lot. I played around. I play around with this quite a bit. Create something interesting. See, this is something I like what Nintendo does. So they get us all hyped up with their with their initial direct, and they're like, well, we don't want to waste too much time showing every little bit of every game. So the people that want to stick around, you've got all this extra content where they're going to talk about the game, and they're going to really show you more in-depth stuff, and like the people who are f fans of specific things can tune in and be like, yeah, three days worth of bonus fucking content. Like, that's fantastic. And you have great personalities talking about the game. People who are actually developing the game, or just people who are involved with the channels that Nintendo runs on YouTube. It's great. I mean, if, if, if Fighter Pass 1 was really successful for them, possibly. There's a lot of options for characters still. And new games coming out and whatnot. A lot of options. It's gonna be hard to top ultimate, yeah. But also you want to make sure that all of the doorways are connected to other doorways. Um, so the only way he could top this if he put if he puts like a new adventure mode in like the way it was before in melee. Starting to make a little bit of a dungeon arrangement here. Uh, and you might notice a few other things. So uh, some of these chambers have That's fair. I mean, we've had we've, we've had the we've had enough smash games to last a lifetime. And this one has so much to it, so much pleasing the fans. Uh, in terms of whether even if it's like uh, comp competitive nature, making other characters viable. Nintendo, if, if Sakurai won't do it, then I, th I wouldn't be surprised if Nintendo just takes over and says, okay, well, we'll see what we can do with it. Nintendo has a future. They have new characters they want to make. Next Smash, we'll probably get, like, a character from ARMS. Maybe we'll get an ARMS 2 before then. Unlike any other dungeon before, you arrange these yourself. Um, but there, there are challenges. You have to go through this puzzle portion of the arrangement. And once you're finished... <laughs> Excellent title. I mean, it's... It explains what I'm doing, right? Uh, the, the chamber dungeon can actually take a little bit of time to arrange... This is the... Uh, I'm totally blown away at this fucking... Best conference. I... <laughs> I can't, I can't say it enough. I'm a sucker for Nintendo, and they've given me everything I wanted. Best troll ever? What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, blue ballsing us up until the very end to give us banjo? What do you mean? Oh, the dog and the duck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rehashing the uh, King K. Rule bit. It's fantastic. They could milk it again and have um, uh, what looks like Donkey Kong sitting in front of the TV and then they reveal it's Karate Joe from uh, Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> it probably saved him some money too. Yeah, reuse the assets. Yeah. I wasn't expecting Breath of the Wild sequel, honestly. That <laughs> I don't think that have they ever done a like a really direct sequel where it's literally like I and mean, they're probably gonna change the name. They're probably not gonna say Breath of the Wild two. It's probably gonna be like a Majora's Mask sort of situation. I have to go back and finish Breath of the Wild. I never actually I got so distracted in that game that I never actually finished it. There's so much to do in that. Well, yeah, Zelda 2. Well, it had a different name. It was like... 
They didn't call it Legend of Zelda. I mean, it wasn't Legend of Zelda 2. It was like Zelda 2 Link's Awakening. They, they, they still changed the name. Kinda. I think it would even leave a stronger impression. Never finished. I was running around doing everything, but that uh, same. <laughs> I'm just saying it wasn't. It wasn't like this is not Majora's Mask too. Did all this right? Yeah. So much stuff to do in that game. Get all the uh, what was it the Korok thing, Korok seeds or whatever, the, the poop. I'm not covering all this. There's no way. As soon as we get to something I'm really not interested in, I'm, I'm fucking out. If it's Luigi's Mansion 3, I'll hit that one. If it's if it's Marvel, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> I'm s I'm just I'm so excited for everything Nintendo has to offer. <laughs> Nintendo, Devolver, Microsoft, PC gaming, Square, fucking Ubisoft at the bottom. Fuck Ubisoft. Worst conference I've ever seen. Oh, page is updated? Well, one page is updated. Let me check the Smash website then. Let's see what we got. Oh, Square. Square was good. I just wasn't interested in the games. It's not like Square did bad. It just, it kind of put me to sleep. I'm just, I'm, I'm just not into Square games. The, the start was fantastic. Oh, yeah. Hero and Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, we've got the, uh, stuff up on the uh site let me uh put that up over here hit f11 on this so we've got change costume look at that that's so that's so beautiful can't click on banjo though interesting oh that is so good looking look at that great looking characters not super interested in the series but great looking characters nonetheless Yeah, you can't even go to Banjo yet. Watch Dogs, yeah, once again. <laughs> Ubisoft is like, Watch Dogs, and then everything else just went fucking downhill. <laughs> I was just like, oh god, I hate this. I wouldn't I wouldn't bother watching uh, my coverage of that. That made me so sad. I just never grew up with them. Like, I, I love, love, love Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I just... Final Fantasy Online, they had a lot of coverage. I just, I don't play the game. Hey, you can't click on Banjo. Darn. But on the other hand, I'm, like, super excited for, uh, like, Detroit Humans, the remake. Uh, Evil Genius 2 was great at the PC show. PC, PC show was full of bugs, but, um, then, uh, uh what's, what's it, the, the... The zoo version of uh, Planet Coast, Planet Zoo, whatever it is, that looks good too. There's a lot of good gameplay they showed at that one. A lot of good, interesting games. Uh, Benjo looks like he wasn't even finished his trailer. Only a few his moves. Well, yeah, that's. I mean, they have time. With the wild gaming, hit me chop shot, face remake, bust, back and forth the menu. Based in real time. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake, like, uh, they really, they really killed it with that one. Cloud Strife Amiibo support in Final Fantasy VII. I, I mean, is it coming out on Switch? <laughs> I cry watching Aerith die again. Oh. This game looks like a lot of fun. I I love that they're adding sort of a Mario Maker element where you can build your own dungeon. 
So the, the oh, chamber, yeah. ooh. Yeah, this room is a little bit challenging. So yeah, those chamber dungeon challenges come in two parts. And you're gonna have different conditions that you need to fill for those challenges. For both the- Benjo Kazooie stock icon update uploaded? How do you know this? Playing through the Game Boy version of this again. You definitely tell it was originally just a passion project. Yeah. I'm kind of awestruck. I don't know how to Click general? Thank you. Oh, there it is. Yeah, no kidding. And I guarantee the logo is going to be a picture of a jiggy or whatever. Already confirmed. There you go. Kind of standard, hit him three times uh -huh. in your Five a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Such a... God. I'm so, I'm so fucking excited for Animal Crossing. Like, I love Animal Crossing. God, fucking crafting systems. Start at the goddamn square one. Build your town up from nothing. Oh my god. Please. Being patient is so hard. Luigi's Mansion still probably come out in the fall. <sighs> yeah, five percent don't you want At least you can take it with you, right? It's a portable. You can do it anytime. Fucking go to work and you know farm a bit. Dragon Quest logo ripped from the newest game. Why don't they just use the other? I don't know. Probably advertising. Who knows? I love how into the game he's getting. Oh, Stardew is so 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 good. I played it with so many friends now. Like went uh, multiplayer. Yeah, it's a great year for Nintendo. Also, Mario Maker. That's gonna be it's gonna be a great summer. I'm gonna play a lot of that game. I have played a bit of Graveyard Keeper. I got that when it first came out. Um, excited to see what they're going to do for uh, DLCs and whatnot. It's pretty good. It was a little bit buggy. I tried streaming it back in October, and it was a weird bug, and I kind of ruined my playtime. If they do, I thought, they, didn't, they, didn't they already release some stuff for, for an update? I remember they released some automation stuff for late game. Oh, and he's got an amiibo. That looks cute. Some update was really good. Yeah, I, I, I bet it was good. I didn't play after the update came out. If they if they do more, it'd be great for the game. Um, if not, I'll probably still end up playing it eventually. I like his glasses. I forget the guy's name. The gray hair. His glasses look really cool. Banjo Amiibo is 90% going to happen. Yeah, probably. I want to see it. Is Graveyard Keeper on Switch? Did they port it? Wait, did, did they show the Amiibo? Did you, send, did you send a picture in the Discord or whatever? Post it in the Discord. I want to check it out. If they did, I wouldn't mind taking that game on, uh, on mobile. You don't have the... Oh, you don't have the image. Okay. Did they show it? Did I miss it?
And uh, in addition to uh, the Link's Awakening amiibo, there's also the other Legend of Zelda series amiibo will work with the Legend of Zelda. League. Oh, so they're just going to use the pose. Any Legend of Zelda character amiibo will work with the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. So if you have uh, from the Smash Brothers series, if you have Peach or uh, Ganondorf or something like that. So we'll you don't, also work you don't need this, this, right, Dom? No, no, I need it. Please don't. <laughs> it. I have a hole in my heart yeah. already. <laughs> But yeah, we wanted to share this beautiful amiibo. Final Fantasy area. I, I, don't, I don't mind the amiibos for Final Fantasy that much. They, they're okay. Right. Well, that's, uh, that's all the time we have for uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Next up, we have a... Does he have a Nintendo Power shirt on? I want that shirt. These Nintendo guys have the best shirts. Marvel next. Okay, I think we're done. This is a fantastic game. I think I want to stream th uh, stream through Spyro 2 pretty soon. Spyro 1 was a great stream during my 24 hour from like, you know, beginning to end, but uh, I definitely want to tackle Spyro 2 pretty pretty soon. I've already got it on PS4, I don't need to get it on Switch. PS4's got, got achievements, that's what it's all about. Definitely probably worth it. If you don't have it on a system yet, I would definitely say it's worth picking up. Fantastic, fantastic game. Great remaster. I also want to run through uh, Crash at some point. Yeah, I think we're done here. Okay. Well, uh, I think that was a solid time. Uh, wanting old school, scream. old school streams lately. Every Zelda game. Dude, those are fantastic games to run through. Uh, a lot of hype going on with them too so you probably get some uh, people popping in um yeah i think that's gonna be it for me today i'll be back on friday and i'll pr i'm sure i'll have more to talk about they're gonna be showing a lot more luigi's mansion and uh, other cool stuff throughout the week so i'll be watching that um as time goes on and uh other than that, I think that's, that's my E3 coverage. Uh, for everyone who showed up, uh, more than one of them, only one of them, talking about it. I love talking about this stuff. New games are great. Uh, if there's more special events, so maybe, I'll, maybe I'll hit Game Awards whenever that comes up. Or, you know, whatever, whatever other events are popping up, they're going to show some really cool reveals. I'll, uh, I think I might stream some more of that. Special event stuff is uh, a lot more fun than I thought.